Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We're going to be breaking down the latest draft news, breaking down all the picks and all the players. Um, before we get started, though, please drop a quick like and a sub. It would really help my channel grow. I'd really appreciate that. And with that said, let's dive right into the video, and I hope you enjoy. Wow. Buccaneers pick 64 go Kyle Trask interesting pick by the Bucks here out of Florida obviously this quarterback uh, was insane last year for this uh, Florida Gators team this was a guy uh, that really was able to throw the ball effectively deep downfield uh, really throw the ball with power accuracy and just explosiveness and I mean sure he had two first round uh, caliber players that he was throwing to in Kadarius Tony and Kyle Pitts who went uh, earlier in the draft, but you know, Kyle Trask going to the Bucks. This is a move for the future. This is the Bucks understanding that they've got Tom Brady, who's arguably the best teacher and best knower of football in the entire league. You go put Kyle Trask on there, right? You play him as your third string quarterback, but you know, he could be your future franchise guy when Tom Brady decides to turn the cleats up. I mean, you're paying a second round pick barely any money. You're paying him backup money, basically. And Trask can be your second or third string quarterback. Doesn't really matter. But more importantly, this guy's got that uh, those those physical attributes and, and, and those attributes to throw the deep ball deep downfield. And at the end of the day, this is a flyer. Chances are this isn't going to work out. But if this does, this is an absolutely perfect move by the Bucks. They realize that at the end of the day, their team is really strong. And if they believe that there isn't a guy that they can, uh, you know, if, if they believe that there isn't a guy that they can improve their team really, really uh, to a big degree rather than, you know, looking towards the future, I think this is a smart move looking towards the future. I mean, maybe Davion Nixon could have been a pick at defensive tackle. Uh, maybe they could have gone for a pass rusher. I still think there are a few okay guys, guys like Ronnie Perkins who are still on the board at this time. Uh, but at the end of the day, I like this move a lot from the Bucks, realizing who they have in the quarterback room right now, who, they, who they're going to need in, in, in a few years. And you know what? Why not take a flyer at the end of the second round on a quarterback? And hey, if it pans out, it pans out. If it doesn't, it doesn't because, you know, it's a second round quarterback and they're not supposed to pan out. Uh, so with that said, I like this move from the Buccaneers going out and getting Kyle Trask, who had an insane season last year. They saw those stats. They think that, 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 that those stats could be produced in the NFL. Why not just take a flyer on him? I like this pick a lot. It makes a ton of sense. Um, and I think that this is a very smart move from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So good move here by the Bucks going out and getting Kyle Trask. And with that said, that's pretty much going to end the video for today. Did you agree with my analysis? Why or why not? Leave your comments and thoughts in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Also, if you're new around here, please drop a like and a sub on today's video. I'd really appreciate that. And with that said, I hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time, see ya.